so good evening everyone so in this module we'll quickly discuss about prepaid expense journal entry and impact on financial statement like balance sheets and pnl so let's discuss about it see when we talk about guys prepaid expense prepaid it means so cash already paid okay so cash already paid for a next accounting period but expenses it will incur in future or expenses it will be recorded in future so that process basically will call it as a or that you know the expense part will will call it as a prepaid expenses pre paid so it means already expenses which has been paid in cash but the expenses will record it to the financial statement or i would say pnl so when actually expenses incur it so that process basically we call it as even amortization as well so let's discuss it let's take a you know uh, example to understand this in a better way let's say fund manager this guy has paid 12000 admin fee to the let's say apex services okay 12000 admin fee for apex services and in this fund let's say we have a quarterly accounting so every quarter financial uh, books you know it will be closed or accounting will be performed and even financial statements you know funds uh, will produce it so that's how let's say the scenario we have at the moment now since we know the 12,000 which is the fee admin fee for uh, entire one year so that fee that you need to first split across 12 months so 12,000 divided by 12 so fees would be somewhere around thousand dollars per per month and quarterly fees would be every quarter fees would be around three thousand dollars so every month sorry every quarter basically if it is a quarterly accounting you know so fund accountants will have to perform accounting for three thousands and if it is a monthly accounting then monthly would be one thousand dollars and if it is a daily accounting so that one thousand you can divide across you know 30 or 31 days because we follow the conventions like 30 divided by 6 360 or 30 divided by 365 something all right so let's see means how you know things actually happen so when we say you know fees paid paid it means now the transaction has been completed and cash you know which has been let's say uh, gone out of from the funds book so you can check that on a bank statement also so that 12,000 first you know as accountant will have to record it so your accounting entry for a account let's say if the fees which has been paid on 1st of January or before that so in that case so that date you can you know update as a transaction date for a journal entry and your accounting entry would be journal entry that I'm talking about prepaid admin fee account debit to cash account credit because you need to first update the you know journal entry for this 12,000 paid amount and on a financial statement you know how it looks like on a financial statement guys see how means means you know that transaction looks like means prepaid part there are two accounts one is cash account so that we record under assets let's say total cash you know it was assume it it was 1 lakh original you know cash it was but now the prepaid expense adjustment that you would see 12,000 so updated cash would be 88 uh, 88,000 right and the prepaid expense which is actually you know prepaid expense which is 12,000 
right so when actually fund pays the amount in advance for a next accounting period so this is how we means actually record you know transaction like if you go and see the cash debit side again so it's a balance sheet impact you know impact would be on balance sheet then prepaid admin fee again that we treat as a current assets of the business so since it is a current assets of the business that we record to the asset side only but as i said on a quarterly you know on maybe 31st of march so we have since we have a quarterly accounting so on 31st of march accounting books you know it will closed on so in that case your accounting entry would be because see now we cannot means record the prepaid accounting uh, account and cash entry again because already we have recorded or paid it so now in this case our accounting means accounting entry would be on uh, 31st of march is like admin fee expense account debit which is 3000 to prepaid expense account credit 3000 and that we need to record like this the expenses admin fee three thousand dollars right and same admin fee that you need to debit from the prepaid expense so here you need to minus admin fee which is three thousand so updated balance should be nine thousand and here three thousand so this is how amortization works guys i hope now you get it how amortization works and at what point that you need to update the impact on income statement of a fund in an apex interview what i have seen like back to back you know there was questions on journal entries and uh, most of the people they made mistakes on prepaid and accrual parts don't get confused in prepaid accounting entries or accrual accounting entries maybe next episode i'll record on uh, accrual accounting part how we can record the accruals but in case of now prepared you know this is how you would see you know the representation in balance sheets and in terms of journal entry this is how you know we prepare basically two journal entries one when we actually you know means we have paid everything means all the fees for entire year so that's how you can you know prepare this journal entry and when you actually amortize the means convert the you know uh, the prepared into expense then this is how you know we prepare this entry so yeah so i'm done with this small session if you have still any questions or doubt please go ahead and you know comment it so i'll bring with means i'll record the session with more and more examples so that you can you know understand in better way and if you like this please do share subscribe and share with others as well anyways if you are really looking for you know the uh, upskilling part so we have course on hedge fund private equity mutual fund uh spvs and all so please do check the comment and enroll to the courses so that you can upskill on you know this part to get a job in corporate so thank you thank you very much for watching this we'll see you in next episode thank you guys